Welcome back. It was a Texas Supreme Court ruling which cut brutally short a seemingly premature victory lap by Harris County Attorney Christian Menefee and other Democratic leaders. Menefee, who challenged Senate Bill 1750, claiming the measure eliminating the appointed post of election administrator was unconstitutional because it applied to Harris County alone and no other jurisdiction in Texas. But the state high court rejected that argument, clearing the way for the new law to take effect September 1st and returning control of Harris County elections to the county clerk and county tax assessor, both of whom happen to be Democrats and both of whom were chosen directly by the people. Marcus Davis, you support <laughs> this ruling, I suspect. You know, I, I've said before this argument took place before uh, it got into the court. I, I disagreed with what was happening. I voted for, uh, to, I've worked with Tanisha Hudspeth for a number of years on voter outreach and voter information. And I thought when it was her time, it was her time and to have it snatched from under her, I thought was unfortunate because I believe she had the qualifications. I believe she had the history, the experience, the background. And I didn't, I also didn't agree with the way the city, the, the, the county administrator was brought in. It was like, you know, last minute, throw it on the fire and let's see what happens. And then he came in and said, spoken an untruth and said, everything is going to be great. You can't come <laughs> into a situation and make that type of claim. If he had come in and said, you know what, it's going to have a tough time, but we're going to get better, I would have respected it more. We've got to do something better. Let's go with the people who were elected. Sergio, what are you hearing from other Democrats? You know, this is, I, I agree with Marcus. This, uh, what, we, what we're hearing is that, uh, you know, first of all, Menifee, uh, you know, he, he was celebrating a little prematurely because the Texas Supreme <laughs> Court was going to rule on that one. I knew they were going to step in. That's the final say so. But the issue here is, um, is that I'm glad Tanisha Husbeth and Ann Bennett are back in the saddle and doing the work that they've always done in the past. And what I'm hearing is that they, they do good work, is that the same people are doing the work, it's just switching titles. But the bigger issue is this, it's a two-step paper system. I would, I like the old spinning the wheel a thousand times <laughs> better and much quicker and effective, but it is the two paper system that's clogging the system. Someone needs to look in who got that contract because it's a mess and it just backs up all the polling and the precincts. Well, we've got a my Tracy under, report. My right? understanding yes. is it was Chris <laughs> Hollins who selected those machines. That's right. Exactly. But I'll we'll have to confirm that. Yes, that the same the Chris Hollins issue. who wants to be comptroller who, who bought a machine that's bad, but follow the money. Somebody got paid off. That's Absolutely. what happens all the time. Look, the two elected Democrats, they had a track record. They had run elections before Rodney Ellis led. Commissioner's Court decided to take it away from them because they want to control by appointment what happens. So they were flat wrong. Christian Menefee you know, he has a track record of losing over and over again. Yes, he's really good at press conferences to take the victory when he doesn't have it. Yeah, yeah. You want to talk about hyperbole? They were calling this Jim Crow. I mean, oh, Jim Crow is terrible. Yes. Uh,